start recording. All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Tales of Arise. Hope you enjoy the next section as we find out what happens. Get your popcorn. Get your friends. Get comfortable. I want to be Okay. Here's the clickiness. I think it's safe to rest here now. Okay, what are we doing? Resting her. Come on, game, don't listen to me. Where's the uh in Oh, there it is. Kind of show? Let's, uh, right behind me. Huh? I think someone's calling out for us. They could have something they need from us. going on around here. Yeah, there might be someone who could use our help. That dead eye creep certainly has a few screws loose, that's for sure. Forget that guy. Right now, we need to discuss how we're going to proceed. What's there to discuss? Dead Eye and his crew have already brought down the Lord here. Just let them finish her off. I want to go after her. I second that. I think it's the best thing to do right now. We don't know if the Darkwings have what it takes to beat her. I'm worried what'll happen if we leave her to her own devices. You make a good point, Rinwell. And maybe I'm just being overconfident, but between us and them, I think we have a better chance of defeating her. I have to agree. This realm isn't going to be truly safe as long as that Lord is still running around out there. We need to act. Fine by me. But isn't Dead I'm just gonna take all the credit once we're done? Our job is to break down the walls that oppress Dana. What he chooses to build in their place, that's his problem. For now, we'll head to this Estaluva forest Bayfon told us about. Whatever we decide to do, though, we should take some time to rest first. We've barely stopped since Men and Sia. Where are you going? Elfin. You should get some rest. 
What's got you up at this hour? Just let me be for a minute, okay? Why don't you go back to the inn? I will when you do. <sighs> Have it your way. Shion. The Lord's days are numbered. I haven't forgotten our promise. You can trust me, you know. Maybe even lean on me a little. If you want. And if I say I will, will you finally give it a rest? <laughs> yeah, of course. Try to get some rest, okay? What was all that about? So, we're just going to check things out, right? In whatever that forest is called. Esteluva Forest. Next time, pay attention. <sighs> well, he told her to have it her way. So it sounds like we should go to Burger King. Uh, searching the... Hell Madrid. Is there a star in the room? Somebody's watching us. Maybe there's someone around here who needs our help. Someone's always watching you. Valley of the Four Winds. Mahog Ah, got sand in my eyes! The winds are strong here. Mind yourselves. Ugh, even the inside of my mouth is all sandy. Hoodle, don't get blown away, okay? <laughs> the winds outside the capital are blowing as strongly as ever. You can definitely see why people call this place the Valley of the Four Winds. Indeed. Mahog Sar is the realm of wind, just as Ganeth Heros is for water. Earth, water, fire, wind, light, and darkness. Rena is aligned to darkness, leaving each realm one element each. Is that because some elements are easier to gather in certain areas than others? That is certainly possible. But I suspect the biggest reason is to prevent the Lords from squabbling over resources. Funny. You would think infighting would come naturally to an elite class vying for a crown. True, but the Renans rule as a minority. Fighting ourselves would just be destructive. Though, as you saw in Menencia, any abstention from fighting is merely a facade. In the end, you all get usurped whether you like it or not. Hmm. That may be true, but something tells me that this time is different. We have to catch up to the Lord first if we want answers. Let's keep moving. <laughs> this place blows. What is that ring of rocks over there for? They don't look like they formed naturally to me. Oh yeah. Funny, I guess I've gotten used to weird rock formations. They didn't even register as being out of the ordinary. Most likely, they were brought over by us Renans when we first invaded the planet. Wait, those? So does that mean there's some kind of machine then? And if so, what in the world were they even used for? To manipulate the properties of Dana's astral energy. 
Really? Think about it. Isn't it strange that the type of energy each realm collects is so fixed? Astral energy by nature isn't meant to skew towards one element or another so heavily. So the Renans reformed it for the crown contest. Sounds like the crazy thing a Renan would do. Renans these days are more advanced than Danans in some ways, but even they don't seem capable of doing something on that grand a scale. Or is that something that's possible on Lenegas? Or maybe the Renan homeworld? I can't claim to know everything about my own kind, but I myself have never seen anything that would be capable of such a drastic feat. But at some point they did just that. Those are the sort of people we're up against. We should do our best not to forget that. Perfect. You're so amazing, Kisara. You can cook, you can fix weapons. I feel like there's practically nothing you can't do. Maybe you should take a page out of her book and learn to make yourself more useful then. Hmm. I'd be happy to teach you if you want, Rinwell. I learned most everything I know from my brother. Really? Even how to sew and do laundry? Yes, indeed. He knew how to do anything. Sounds like he was a pretty handy guy when he was alive. He was. I'd always follow him around and badger him with questions. I was a real pain in the neck. Now that I think about it, he and Lagil were the ones who taught me how to raise cats, too. Lagil is that woman who was with him in the Gold Dust Cats, right? I remember now. The one with the really pretty hair. Funny you mention that. He also taught me how to maintain my hair. Not that those lessons stopped it from getting all tangled up during training. I think it still looks gorgeous. From what I can tell, it would appear as though the only thing he didn't manage to teach you was how to apply makeup. No, but that didn't stop him from trying. He really wanted to teach me everything. Only reason he couldn't was because I prioritized my training. And here I was trying to make a joke. I can't tell if she's being serious. The only one here who knows him well enough was her. Yeah, I guess only Megal could have told us if it's actually true. Oh no. I've got a really bad feeling about this. Would you say this place blows? Or this place blows? Look sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! That training paying off! Lightning Prepare to be steel. Actually, I'm more appropriate. Less talking, more doing. I guess you had your pieces now and again. Told you not like that all the time. I'm still as humble as ever. I'm all stuffed up. I'm doing it. Certainly not bad. No complaints here. I'm searching for amateur. Is this the right way? Out? Alfin, have you been washing your clothes? It may not be my place to say this, but frankly, they're starting to stink. Now that you mention it, it has been a while since I did any laundry. I'll wash them for you if you want. Just remember to give them to me the next time you get changed. Oh, okay. Sure. Thanks, Kisara. And, Law, Rinwell, yours are starting to look a bit ragged. What do you expect? Of course they're going to tear up when we're out there fighting so much. Yeah, but it's still kind of embarrassing having it pointed out like this. And Xion? I wouldn't touch me if I were you. Of course. My apologies. All I wanted to say was that your sleeves are getting a little bit dirty. You don't need to worry so much, Kisara. It's only natural our clothes are gonna get a little dirty while we're traveling around. That's no excuse. 
Your outward appearance says a lot about your inner well-being. Now you've really set her off. Suffice to say, it would appear that the traditions of the Guard are still alive and well within her. What do you mean? What do the Guardsmen do that's so special? Mostly. I'm simply referring to the fact that they're a very... regimented and cleanly group of people. Do I really sound that weird to you guys? Keeping your clothes clean and mended is completely normal to me. Don't get us wrong. We appreciate the thought, Kisara. But we've got a long journey ahead. It wouldn't hurt to relax your standards. Just a little. If you're sure. I wasn't trying to overdo it, I promise. However, if it's making the rest of you tense, I'll do my best to tone it down from here on out. Still, if everyone could bring their laundry and clothes they want fixed, that'd be great. I'll take care of it all for you guys tonight. Don't you ever get tired? I don't think she does. Somehow, things are even worse. I'm oh, sorry, he's sorry, I mean outside the city than they are inside. Yeah, it's all ruined. Houses and everything else. Even if it was all in the name of beating the Renants, this is... Oh yeah, I'm gonna pass the animals. Where am I going? Yeah, this way? Hopefully. We should be able to cook here. Uh, sure. I feel all bent out of shape. I know what you mean. Hard to settle down after seeing all those ruins. We fought hard to help liberate the people of Dana, but every realm we've been to along the way could have easily turned out like this. When powerful forces collide, the destruction they leave gets that much worse. So we've been lucky things haven't turned out worse up until now? Regardless, I don't want to see this realm get messed up any more than it already is. We have to capture this lord ourselves no matter what. Old habits die hard. No, Halim, your spare bracers were getting dirty, so I polished them up along with the rest of your equipment. Why, thank you, Kisara. I greatly appreciate that. Maybe it's just my imagination, but you sure seem to fuss over Dohalim a whole lot, Kisara. It is a little strange. Almost like you're still in his service. Really? That's certainly not my intention. Besides, he's not the only one I'm like that with. Hey, Law? I saw your clothes were starting to get holes in them, so I stitched them back up for you. Oh, wow! Thanks, Kisara! Point taken. Do you just like looking after people? I wouldn't go so far as to say I like it, but I get anxious if I don't. I'd always like to help if I can. It comes naturally to me. Back in the day, Miguel and I used to look after the younger kids a lot, so that's probably where it comes from. He taught me everything I know. And I mean everything. How to cook with wild plants, how to sew clothes so they'll last. Without him, we never would have been able to survive. However, you're not a lord anymore, Dohalim. You need to get used to the idea that people aren't just going to wait on you hand and foot. Yes, you're absolutely right. I'm ashamed to admit that I felt no qualms about her doing all that for me. As both a Renan and especially as a lord, one becomes too accustomed to those beneath you tending to your every need. Both Renans and Danans alike. Sure, that's how all you Renans are probably raised. But just to be clear, we're not your servants, Dohalim. Got that? Absolutely. Moments such as this provide me with ample opportunity to confront my unease. It is difficult to tend with my own motivations. What do you mean? And the truth of the matter is that my espousal of coexistence in Menencia hardly came from an idealistic place. That instinctive unease I feel deep within serves as a reminder for what it is that I, that all of us here, fight for. Don't be so hard on yourself. No one's going to abandon you if you aren't always perfect. Looking at her now, I think she's more like his mom than his servant. Almost anyone won't abandon you if you're not always perfect. 
Hmm. What's up, Kisara? You look concerned. Uh, oh, no, it's just... I'm looking at our finances, and they seem to have taken a nosedive. I don't remember us making any big purchases, though. Ah, that may be because I borrowed a small amount to purchase something the other day. I don't think you can call spending more than half of our money a small amount. Half? Dohalim, what the hell did you buy? As it so happens, I came upon a rather special object that I've long been searching for. Are you talking about that junk? Uh, I mean, that uh, unique-looking trinket you're holding? Whoa, is that a... Indeed. It is a lost artifact from ancient Danon times. Most likely, it was used for some sort of rite or ritual. Ever since we Renans conquered Dana, such objects have been disappearing. I simply want to do my part to help preserve both our people's storied histories. Well, if it's to preserve Dan and history, then I guess we can maybe look the other way. Just this once? I don't know. Why spend money on something that won't even keep us fed? More to the point, we all contribute to that money. I don't like the thought of anyone dipping into it without saying anything. You must understand. Had I let that opportunity pass me by, I'd never have come across this item again. Dohalim, maybe no one taught you that money doesn't grow on trees. I may have been a lord, but I realized that We got bills to much. pay, we got bills to pay. It's not enough to this simply world realize free. it. You have to internalize the concept too. Even after all this time, you still have no real sense of money. Sorry. Our funds aren't your Sorry. personal wallet. We camp outside and eat grass for dinner to try and stretch every last gold we have. You never know when we may need it. Uh, I don't think we're so poor that we have to eat grass or anything. Shut up, Alvin. Shutting. Let's just agree to not spend too much or be too thrifty for our own good. The Earthmaster Core. Alfin, your blazing sword draws its power from Xion's Fire Master Core, right? So I'm told. Then why don't you use yours, Dohalim? You mean my Earth Master Core, yes? Yeah, I mean, you still carry it around with you, don't you? I do. Each Master Core contains the astral energy harvested from Dan and slaves over the course of the last three centuries. Though only a select few qualified people, namely the Lords, can wield them, they nevertheless hold too much power to simply abandon. If only the Lords are supposed to be able to use them, how come Alfin and Xion can use theirs? That may be because Xion has embedded the Fire Master Core within her body, something which wouldn't have occurred under normal circumstances. Okay, but why do you still carry yours around? Just as Danon see Master Cores as symbols of the lives and resources robbed from them, so, too, do I view mine as a symbol of our lasting sins. The pain and agony wrought upon this world by my predecessors, as well as the injustice enabled by my own inaction, are all housed within my Master Core. It is a testament of all that I have done wrong. It cannot ever be used again, nor fall back into the wrong hands. <sighs> <sighs> Dohalim. You didn't differentiate between the deaths of Danans and the deaths of Renans. Danans and Renans both spill blood and languish in agony all the same. I just couldn't bear to hear it any longer. That's all. Little late for that. Let's see, okay, Mike. Uh, we don't have enough ingredients. Or. Eddie's in. What for today? So it's gonna be a negative. Uh. Rinwell. Rinwell, mind if we chat a little? I noticed you haven't been training Huda lately. Is he doing okay? Yeah, he's fine. He's been catching fish with Kisara. And he seems to be adjusting his diet on his own, so I'm not as worried as before. Maybe that's his way of pitching in, so you don't have to do everything for him. Yeah, maybe. I guess at some point he started taking a shine to everyone too. Just like they did to him. You sound like you're okay with that. Yeah. More than okay, really. 
It feels natural having Hoodle and everyone around. I know what you mean. We all support and take care of each other in our own ways. It's starting to feel like we're almost a family. Huh. I hadn't thought of it like that. So does that make you everybody's dad? Do I really look that old to you? Huh? You don't like that? Okay, how about you be the big brother? Shion is the big sister. And Kisara can be our mom! Well, then how about Dohalim for the dad? I don't really get that kind of vibe from Dohalim. He's more like an uncle. An old uncle, yeah. who's too preachy and snarky for his own good sometimes. And as for Law... Hmm... Well, Hoodle took the little brother role, and Law's definitely, definitely not the dad. Hmm, this is hard. Oh! Law can be the pet dog! A dog? Do dogs really count as part of a family? Yes, they do. Of course they do. If an owl can be part of our family, so can a dog. <laughs> when you think about it like that, we have a pretty fun family. Yeah, a pretty big one as well. That's why I like it so much. I wish we didn't have to do anything dangerous. I just want to keep traveling the Bring world with you it. guys the way we are right now. You okay? Uh, oh, it's nothing. Actually, I think I'm going to go practice with Hoodle for a bit. Do dogs even count? How could you even ask that? We should really get some rest. Of course they count. Dogs, cats. I want to go back to bed. Wait, where am I? Was I? Am I supposed to go this way? Hopefully. Any pet you have counts as part of your family. The minute you adopt it. I mean, kids you adopt aren't related by blood. What's the difference? This place gives me the creeps. You really think that lord is hiding out here? Be careful. The air is dense with astral energy. Something's not quite right about this place. How are you able to pick up on all this stuff anyway? Is it something that all astral arts wielders can do? I must admit, I'm curious myself. Perhaps her den and bloodline has something to do with it. <laughs> Dohalim. Apologies. I meant no disrespect. Stay alert, everyone. There's a good chance that she already knows we're here. Something feels odd here. Be on your guard. Hmm. I suppose if you're a lord going into hiding, a forest is one place to turn. We don't know for sure she's here. Keep looking. Ain't no rest for the wicked. Money don't grow on trees. You think this elevator is stuck? Down the hill. Well, I guess that means we're never going down. <laughs> We're not getting out of here unless we find a way around it. Why don't we look around to see if there's anything useful? What is the idea? Perhaps we'll find another way down. Well, if we have to go down, let's just jump. Like, how, how far down is it actually? Like, why can't, why can't we just use like our rope? Or just climb. The elevator. Check out that shaft. 
Yeah, I know. That was terrible. Uh, hmm. Okay. Search. I'd be happy to go over here to jump down. There. Ah, guess I misread the landing. Bleh. Porcupine toys. I've got a really bad feeling about this. Let's do that. I'll put it through. Like the generator for an elevator. That rhymes. Generator for an elevator. Can now stop on the surface as well as B3 and B4. Is that where... Sorry, were we on before? Is that where I was before? I went... Uh. This place goes pretty deep underground. It was probably built that way so it could still be used even if the above ground portion got destroyed. Perhaps that's why it's still here. And why it was made into her hideout. It would certainly stand to reason. For the hideout of a runaway lord, this place is a lot bigger than I was expecting. Do you think she had it built with that in mind? No. Personally, I think this used to be part of a Danning castle or fortress of some sort. How can you tell? For one thing, it doesn't look like a storehouse. For another, it's old and you can tell it was built to let people hole up inside of it. Huh. I'll take your word for it. I don't know the first thing about brick. You know, I've always thought you were a smart little cookie. But damn, Renwell, you really know your stuff. It's no big deal. I've just read a lot of books, is all. If this is meant to be a castle, there wasn't much to it above ground. 
Are there such things as underground castles? There probably used to be more of it above ground. That is, until 300 years ago. So the main structure must have been lost during the time of the invasion, with only the underground part remaining. And then this Lord decided to use it for her own purposes. Have I got that right? But what reason could she have for using this place instead of staying back in her own castle? That's what we're here to find out. Whatever it is, she's up to no good. Right. It's all the more reason we need to hurry up and find her before it's too late. Looks like a generator to an elevator. Turn on the generator? Yes. The elevator cannot stop it. Be one. It couldn't be four. No. Nope. Whatever. This won't be easy. Don't be such a pessimist. I'm pretty sure it'll be pretty good. Eagle drive. Take this. Flying free. Why can't they just sit still? Can you take care of them? No sooner said than done. These enemies are to me. No complaints here. I'm out. I'm out. Astral energy. Power up Can't get out of this! Do it! All yours, Isara! <laughs> My fists are crushing it out there! Uh, B1, I guess? Here we can descend down where the railing has fallen apart. What? Are you serious? By all appearances, it would seem she was researching something here. You think so? What kind of research could she have been doing in a place like this? Your guess is as good as mine. Hardly anything the likes of us could imagine. Hmm. If we assume it was because this area is rich in astral energy, and it's possible she could have been doing any number of things. Indeed. Renan castles and spirit vessels are often found in such locations. Intriguingly, Danon ruins are also known for their abundant energy. You Renans attacked us. Don't act like you're just some... Sheesh, enough already! This isn't the place to pick a fight over this. How can you be so calm listening to all of this? You suffered at the hands of guys like him too! I mean, I wouldn't say I'm calm. Hmm. <laughs> There's no being around it. I recently got PS5, as you probably know. This ends now! 
So I took my PS4 Pro to GameStop. And I got like $200 for it. A little better than I was expecting. So yeah, I don't know game ever. PS5 game ever to play all the games for I set it up and make sure all the games worked in the place I left off before I did that. Of course. A hard won victory. So yeah, I was able to get a PS5 for five hundred dollars and I got two hundred back. And also, the PS5 feels like a lot more of a jump from PS4 to PS5 than PS3 to PS4 did, in my opinion. It just feels like a new experience. Quite frankly, I think the PS4 Pro I have a bad should have been the stock PS4. Here, Daddy, over here. Is it cruel? Time to get out of the way. Three. I'm on it. I'm here. Right. No way. The only thing I don't like about it is the lack of speed. Although I do understand they have to keep cross down somehow. And if they put it in an extra terabyte for let's say another 150, that would be 533. 60. So while it is a little bit annoying, at least it has enough to put a few games on it. And also you can use an external back for PS4 games, so those don't have to pick up any space at all. Um. <sighs> Did the game just freeze? Yeah, it looks like... What the heck? If I push this, it shows something. Okay, if I click resume, it just goes black. Well, considering it's staying on this screen. It's obviously frozen. So, it looks like I... Actually, I guess I'll just call the video, dude. Since it's going on about that time anyway. So, I guess this is just gonna be a short video.
and I'll resume next time. So, thank you everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and see you next time. Well, yeah, what the heck? Yeah, yeah, I guess that's just gonna be it for now. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time.